after this man? Let's do this, bro. And this is why I'm so excited about it. What's up guys? I'm here on a little island in the middle of New York City actually. I don't know if you can see the skyline is like all over there. We were fishing for a little while, we didn't have any luck, but we're gonna give it another try once the tide is going out. Right now it's high tide. We decided to um, camp up on this little island, completely deserted, no one lives here. All there is birds and a bunch of wildlife, different horseshoe crabs and stuff. We, there's a cool shipwreck right here. Yeah, so once the tide goes down a little bit, we're gonna try and go for some different species of fish. If we can, striped bass. There's also porgies and fluke. We did try going for striped bass last week, a few weeks ago. It was all the way in the beginning of the season. Sadly, there was, we did not have any luck, but hopefully um, we have a little bit more luck this time fishing you guys in a little while all right so i found something else that's pretty cool on the beach these little um things horseshoe crab babies no these are uh, no? spider crab shells damn washed up look yeah that's this, another coconut this is an intact coconut completely like not broken at all you can hear water really beautiful I mean, it doesn't really make that much of a difference if you cast it out. Or not. I'm getting little nibbles. We got something! Let's go, Ray! Oh, it came off, I think. Whoa! You saw that? Holy crap! Oh yeah. What's up guys? So, I just caught the first fish of the trip. A little, little fluke. It's really tiny, but... Yeah, about 8 or between 8 and 10 inches, I'd say. Um, the stupidest part out. was there wasn't, my GoPro wasn't filming, you know, that's, that, I guess that's just what happens. <laughs> but, um, this is a good sign. It means there's fish. And if there's fish this big, it means there's much bigger fish too. So it's a good sign. Oh, you got something. You got something. I think you got something. Do you? Yeah, you do. He has a puffer fish. I caught a puffer fish. Yo! Yo, let's go. I got one. You got it. Yeah, hold it up. Are these? Can you even eat these? I don't know. Whoa. I, th I think you can hold them. Yeah, let me see. Look at that. It's amazing. What's up guys? So um look at this. We um, caught this guy. Oh I caught this guy. Yeah. It's a it's a little it? it's a little sea cow puffer fish. It's a, we're not cow exactly fish, sure what it is. A it's cow it, fish or sea cow. Or puffer he's fish. He's a little mushy. He's really mushy. Yeah, he's really cool. So um this yeah. is his this guy's first time catching a fish. So do you wanna release him? Alright. Get back in there, buddy. There he goes. There he goes. He's going back into the well deep. Done. Well done. All right. Yeah. That is the nice first Good time I've ever seen that fish. 
Get Let's go! Woo! Well done, well done, guys. What's up, guys? So, um, we just had a great day of fishing. Sadly, no keepers, so this video is not a uh, catch and cook. We caught one fluke. Uh, it was pretty small, about 10 inches, I'd say, 8 or 10 inches. And one mystery fish, which we still don't know what it is. Some sort of, it looked kind of like a puffer fish or box fish or cowfish. We had a great time, right? Yeah, bro. Um, yeah, we, uh, there's, sadly, I didn't get as much footage as I wanted because I kept turning the GoPro off to conserve battery and stuff because we've been out for 10 or 12 hours. It was a long day. And no, nowhere to charge a GoPro. So, um... You no, know, we could've just thrown it into the ocean. <laughs> dragged the boat out, cleaned it out, all that, all that good stuff. And uh, now we're on our way home. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next time. Peace out.